Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're heading into high school on professional. But if you've noticed from the title, I have a bit of a question for you, for all my viewers and loyal subscribers. Do you want me to stream? Because after Halloween, I've been having fun doing YouTube, and especially for this whole last year. Oh man, it looks so strange here on with sunrise. But I want to know if you all would watch me stream because I really want to start building a community and start having like more direct feedback with everyone. And also, I just feel like streaming is like the best way of just, you know, communicating with anyone, you know, with video games and the gaming scene on YouTube or anywhere. So just let me know down in the comments if you would watch me stream. I do have the internet for it, and I was going to try with Halloween, but I just wasn't prepared. But I have OBS kind of figured out, and there is like a log that can analyze your stream, and my problem was with dropped frames, so... But I do have good enough internet to do it, so again, just let me know down below if you're a subscriber and you enjoy my videos if you'd watch me stream. But I'm looking around in here. We should have something. Maybe it's on the bench over here, and then it would be all oh, the tarot cards. That's not too great. But here we are on high school. I wanted to walk around a bit, but now that Halloween's over and the console version's out, I wanted to go back to all the other maps. And I don't know why, but high school is like the only big, like, large map that I don't have too much of a problem going to. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to find the ghost very well, but I, hopefully with enough walking around I will, or getting hunted. That's where getting the right cursed item can really help. But, like I said, I want to show off these other maps to all the new players, and not just the Blood Moon maps, and also some of these real big maps. And maybe just see if I can remember how to survive on here. But we didn't get a cursed item that was going to gonna help me find the ghost room. So I guess I'm gonna have to find this ghost the old-fashioned way. No, really I should be closing doors, but uh, I'll try and do that from now on. Well, usually what I do in high school is I don't bother cutting through the gym. I come down one area, look and see if I hear anything, get lucky, maybe spend some time here. Here we, we are at the other end of the cafeteria. But I'm going to actually just walk back through the other way. We do have a little bit of a light on. So maybe on a large map my sanity won't drain too fast. But yeah, I'm going to walk back through now and see if we hear anything on this side. And if we don't hear anything on this floor or above, maybe it's on the other side of the building. Well, <laughs> I didn't turn the light on in this hallway. So yeah, you can well, sometimes hide under here. Might be a good hiding spot, but the ghost has to... If it, che if it checks anywhere in here, it's going to see you, so... I don't know about how the ghost really checks places out in a, like a big hallway like this. Well, unfortunately, I don't have many lights on. I'm not even gonna... Well, see, the problem is the main... This room's light is down that way. So let's turn this light on and just head back this way. I kind of should be walking into these rooms and using my own breath as a thermometer just to see if one of the... I heard mm, creaking. If one of these rooms is the ghost room... I find it hard to believe that the door would be closed, though. Well, the only good thing about this was the breaker being in such a good spot. Oh, whoa. Uh, mop bucket just disappeared. You know, I've been kind of avoiding, like, Sunny Meadows full, but I really should try playing that, because you have to play high school on, you know, a, as a large map. There's no smaller version of high school. But I don't know, I think it's kind of alright to just walk down these hallways and get lucky enough. I've had some pretty lucky games where finding the ghost wasn't too bad. But this one, I think finally we're going to have a ghost on the second floor. Because nothing around here seems out of the ordinary. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the truck, get more equipment in here. And I think I might just get a smudge, but I want to check my sanity. So look, I'm going to be a little immersive and <laughs> put all my stuff down on this bench. If I can get it up in there. But I'm going to go get a thermometer, a smudge, and maybe the lantern, depending on my sanity. I kind of want to stay at lower sanity. God, look at sunrise on here. I, mean, I, I want to stay at lower sanity. So, I don't know. That's why I just want to bring in the smudge stick. But I don't know about the lantern. It would be cool to walk around with it. But as soon as I find the ghost room, it's going to be cold enough. So I don't really need the thermometer. But... I don't know, I kind of want to get another evidence in there, so we'll see if it's freezing right away. Look how beautiful this sunrise is. Now, what about sanity? See? Really good. It, it's strange. I guess it's because it's a large map, and I was kind of just walking in the hallway. Now, the thing is, I could somehow get, like, a sound sensor, but I doubt I'm going to get lucky. So let's just explore the second floor. The ghost is doing some stuff in there. 
doesn't look like an EMF 5 but I'm gonna just go in with a smudge we don't need to get hunted but it's probably gonna happen anyway so smudge uh, there's a thermometer and then I don't know maybe I'll go in with another evidence but I should be like walking around with my EMF to maybe find the ghost so I don't know let's well, we gotta get something in here uh, let's just get another evidence uh, so yeah if it touches a door maybe we'll get UV I don't know I like bringing in UV sometimes it's smart to pair the UV with assault but sometimes I like uh, just kind of bringing it bringing it in on its own and using it like we used to have to just looking for like fingerprints on the doors well we have a little bit of a base set up something I like the idea of doing in this game is setting up like a base within the location so I almost wish there was a way to get like all the items in here. There's another ghost hunting game. I get them all confused, but there's one where you'd start in a room and I really like that idea. One day we'll play some other ghost hunting games, but I want to walk around. I think we're going to keep the main light, I guess the smudge and then that's the problem. Well, uh, I don't think I need the smudge just yet. So let's go with the camera in case we do need a photo of the ghost. So I'll bring in the camera first thing. And no, I guess I'm not going to be taking the lantern, so I'm going to rely on the lights overhead. But I'm going to hope that there's a light on or a door out of place. If it's a mare, I'm not going to find a light on, which will suck. But and there's no guarantee that I'd find a light on anyway. Now, the last time I've been up in the second floor, I got lost, but I do think I know the layout a lot better. Now, all these doors are closed, and I have it on normal professional. So it's not like they should close anymore, and also I just realized I'm walking in the dark. Well, maybe I'll walk back. Man, all these doors are closed. Give me at least one little idea you might be here. Now see, this is one of the open areas. The only room is that room here. And then this is all just a big open area. Okay, I really should get the lights on, at least somewhere. <laughs> that one doesn't look like it's gonna be working. There should be a switch here. Oh, and that really didn't help me. Okay, that one's going back off. Wait, the one on the right helped more. Why? These two should be like swapped, but okay. And this is the one I needed on this hallway. Okay, ghost. I don't think talking to the ghost is gonna help too much. Every single door here started closed though. Is it somehow in here? I gotta look. Wow, the sunrise. Please, no breath. I'm holding my mic open at this point just to see if the ghost somehow hears me. Wow. Um, when you're playing a large map though, just find, especially in solo, but finding the ghost can be the hardest part. But even playing with like a four player squad, it could be hard to exactly narrow down where this ghost is, especially if it's a shade. So this might be like the hardest ghost to find ever. I wish there were some way with the tarot cards we could find the room. I should be looking in these doors to see if there's a light on. <laughs> it sucks that they're all closed, but like, come on, ghost. You gotta touch the door to your own room at some point, don't you? They're all closed. I <laughs> mean, what are the odds I'm gonna look in here and see one of these rooms lit up? I'm hoping that somehow I'd see, like, a light glowing through the door. That would be cool. <laughs> but I am not seeing anything. This has been, like, the longest time I've ever had finding the ghost on this map. I mean, rightfully so. It's such a big map. I've gotten pretty lucky a lot of the times. I don't know why I'm looking back here at these books. Alright, I have to admit, I'm starting to get a little scared. The more time I spend in a location without knowing where the ghost is, the more and more it gets scary. Are you in here? Because this door is slightly cracked. This is the only lead I have on a ghost, is that a door was slightly open. Oh, oh, is this a hiding spot? Kind of. Oh my, well, not really. I thought this was like a hiding spot, but I guess it's just a weird shelf. Alright, unfortunately, I might just have to get hunted to try and find out where this ghost is. It could be in one of these science rooms where it's not really near a door, but I'm spending a lot of time in the dark and I don't have my smudge stick, so I'm gonna really just have to run away from the ghost if we get hunted here, which, you know, I experienced that last time. See, this door is open too. This is- <gasps> Wow! Finally, a cracked door shows me where the room is. This is literally the farthest point away from the damn entrance. Alright, so I'm gonna immediately leave. This is so strange because I'm actually, okay, we're on the other side. We're, this is the other open area. And it was, okay, I gotta go look at the map. But if we are correct, 
See, this is the gym. Wow, I this map is so confusing on the second floor. But this is like where the cafeteria is. And we know it's back there. So where's the nearest staircase? Would it be the other way? I mean, this is dead center. Maybe it would be on this side. Would be the quicker staircase. And yes, it would be. Oh my god, okay. Very fun room. I never get a ghost, uh, like, near those science rooms. I kind of remember one ghost in there one time a long time ago. Okay, now we have a game plan. So, finally, yeah, I need to turn this light on. And I'm gonna go down here and turn some of these off so I don't kick the breaker. But, at least I'll be able to take sanity. And I'm gonna try and take this investigation seriously. And just not immediately do, like, a no-sanity run. So, uh, I'm gonna write. Huh. For one, I should have left my stuff. Ah, I kind of forgot I was bringing back more stuff. Yeah, I didn't really think about that one, huh? Okay. I'm gonna go back and drop this stuff. God, you no, know, it's too dangerous. Let's drop it here. I need to go see what my sanity is. I'm going to actually leave this way. I mean, if I get hunted, I'm probably gonna survive. Please tell me. <laughs> Thank God, headlamp comes in so handy. Just turn that thing on, that'll help me out. Okay, that was just the breaker. But I'm really kind of afraid of my sanity now because I have been going in the dark for a long time. Oh my god. High school is starting to drain my real life sanity. But we have found the ghost. I want to look at the map just to really figure out where this ghost is. But I'm going to start using the other entrance over there. So we kind of came in on the wrong side. Only came in over here because of the breaker. Alright, I'm going to kind of play it risky I'm going to take this stuff to my other stuff here and then I'm gonna leave and go see what my sanity is because it's too dangerous to go back up there with however my sanity is I don't want to just go back up there and drop off stuff just yet but I will try and go back up there with maybe more evidence I should take my big light oh well let's see what I do I'm just gonna drop this stuff and see if I can escape for one I shouldn't drop my lighter Ugh. give me that all right I'm gonna go back through this way Actually, uh, I was supposed to turn off the lights, damn it. Okay, gotta go do that. But at least I'm in the light. Well, hit this one. I'm just gonna leave the other way. Because this hallway light is still on. So we are far away from the ghost, even if it starts hunting. I think we'll hear it before it gets to us. I had to mention hunting, and now I'm terrified again. <laughs> okay, let me get out of here to this beautiful glowing sun. So kind of talking about the streaming thing again, I do have a schedule for making videos of going through all the maps, but I feel like I really need to stream and play this game for like a few hours at a time to really sink in. Because, you know, playing a game or two every day kind of doesn't cut it. You really need to play this game a lot more, so. I do think I could play this game a whole lot, and like really, I've said before, I could play a thousand hours of this game. I could play this game all day. When I was doing those long Halloween special videos, when I got into it, like, I realized I could sit here and just keep going and keep going. So, once I get into it, I'm really enjoying this. So, let's look at where this ghost was. It's, wow, see, this is so strange. I keep thinking we're on this side, but we're on the right side. And it's back here, right in that little cubby. So, it's not really that bad. We have an entrance here, and then we can go upstairs to it. So, it's all on the right side. Breaker's over here. Now, sanity. Let's keep high sanity. Luckily, I'm only going to need to take one. But I want to just kind of have a fun investigation on Professional here and not go crazy like with the Blood Moons. So let's just take Sanity. Maybe take a Lantern just in case the power goes out. Yes, the power. And uh, what else? I don't want another smudge. Maybe just more evidence stuff. You know, one thing I've thought about high school is these uh, posts out here. And there's like an old picture. I don't know if it's still on the Steam page. But in the old version of high school, these uh, were on. And now on Point Hope, you can turn on the breaker and these will turn on. So I kind of wanted that to happen for this map, where if you turn on the breaker, these all turned on and then you'd have a lit path back. I still think that would be cool for like a rework, but I don't know. Maybe they intentionally want it to be dark out here and just be pitch black no matter what. So I don't know. It could be a stylistic choice, but it would be cool in like a high school rework for there to be like a path here and then lanterns and stuff. So that way you have like a cool detailed path all the way back to the truck. Anyway, just ideas. Well, I guess it would be a good idea to lighten this. So as I said, I want to have some chill fun here. So I got all my equipment on my bench here. What do I want to take up there? Get the light, get the EMF, and then I guess just the lantern. 
So all I could do, I mean, do I really need the tier three light? I'm gonna take it up there. And since I'm walking with the lantern, I guess I'll be fine. But I do need to turn on these lights. And uh, can you help me figure out? So that goes into here. But are there just really no lights? I mean, there's a light here. Can I turn that on with this one? No. See, that's this hallway. Is there no way to like turn on this light? I guess I'm not gonna get so lucky. I mean, the light switch for this hallway was all the way down there. So, oh, there are three light switches. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> I just didn't notice the third one. Okay, thank God. I knew there would be a way to turn on that one. It looked like it worked. So it's not totally pitch dark until you get over here, because guess what? This light is broken. Damn it. So much for all this being functional. And there are still cameras around here that work. See, there's a path going that way. I don't even know this layout when I think I do. Oh my god. So, how does this loop back around? I guess it just... Yeah, it's just like the connector, but on the second floor. Wow. Alright, get in there. I should have full sanity. And having just those lights on makes it a little bit better. Look at how open this damn high school is. This is why it's my favorite map. I don't, it feels so immersive. And it just feels so empty. Okay. I don't think I'm close to kicking the breaker. Wow. Uh, I don't know if the ghost... This isn't gonna come and roam out here at all? There's not too much to work with or throw. Oh, and yeah, I see my breath, but I don't know if it's actually out here. I think it, my breath just kind of followed me out of the room. I'm gonna plant that in the middle. I'm gonna throw my EMF down in case something happens. And then I guess the only thing I can do is just drop that, so that way I can maybe see there's a pillar here? Okay, I'll go get the EMF for that here. I don't really need you. See, you're roaming, and I'm at, like, full sanity. The only phone, there's not even a phone on this desk. It's all the way in here. I have my headlamp on. Hey, thank you. So, I, I think I've had a ghost on the first floor in one of these. And I definitely remember this room. Whoa, how is my breath cold over here? But uh, you're also cold in there. I need to get the thermometer in here. Maybe you're actually in here. Wow. How, how is it cold in there? Maybe, maybe it's a hantu and it's roaming? Let's get the thermometer and truly test some of these rooms. So I guess I'm going to be using this as my new spot. All right, I could take the lantern. Yeah, it is cold in here. Maybe this all counts as one room. That would be crazy if all of this was one room. All right, let's go get more evidence stuff. I think I'm gonna be in the light for the most part here, so I shouldn't drain too much sanity. Wow, I just looked at how long I've been recording. It took me a long time to find this ghost. But it's a good thing. That's why I kind of chose high school, high school, so I could talk about you know streaming and the future of this channel and all. So, again, let me know what you think because I'd also like to start playing with viewers, and I just think it would be easier to do that while streaming. Yeah. So, I just think streaming really is the future for this channel, and I I wanted to, to after Halloween, you know, I'm I'm kind of done just making videos, kind of chill and fun. I mean, I could sit here and make videos all day, but it's really about the interaction and you know, the fan feedback and getting to play the game together even, so. Once again, if you're a fan, just let me know what you think about it and what else you'd like to see from this channel in the future. But, hmm, Sanity's looking good. And the ghost is doing a whole lot of nothing. Is this is shade, like the worst shade ever. I, I guess I came all the way back to the truck, didn't I? I guess that just means I'm gonna get more stuff in there. I didn't mean to come all the way back to the truck, though. I just wanted to get the stuff off the bench. But it doesn't matter, it just means I'll have more stuff in there. So, was there an evidence I don't have? I guess I have everything. Let's get salt in there, just to try and make sure we get UV. You can kind of tell how they've changed the backgrounds and stuff to optimize the game for the console version. I think when you like go in the building, pretty much everything in the outside world just like gets deloaded. Well, not really on here, but there was one map where like, one of the house maps, you just walk in and like everything disappears out there. But it's just them optimizing it for the console version. So I really wonder how this game is going to look in the future. I, this, apparently the whole lighting engine needs to be re redone. I heard that a long time ago. So I don't know, there's still a lot of things coming for this game. Thermo was the main thing. And then we're going to bring in the duo of the UV and the salt. Just to see that right away. But yeah, keeping these lights on has kept my sanity high enough. And apparently just having the light on in the room 
will keep your sanity from draining. At least that's what I've heard. <laughs> and another thing, one of my comments, thank you for letting me know, is if it does go under one degree, it is going to be a freezing ghost. And I also did confirm that. Not that I don't trust anyone, but I just couldn't really believe it. I was going off the old thing where uh, if it was 0 0.3, that was freezing. All right. I think it's going to be cold actually in every single room here. So that might just mean this is all one room. And I kind of would agree with that idea because when I had a ghost in here a long time ago, it did seem like all of this was where it wanted to hang out. Well, you touched that. Well, okay. So then let's take this slow. I'm going to track it down with the salt. Oh, what? Random 2 EMF. All right here on me. And it's gone. It just, ooh, what does that mean? See, was that like a Wraith teleport? Well, then let's track it down with salt. I'm gonna put a salt here. I gotta put a salt in this doorway. Oh! Okay, not a Wraith, but, okay, it's not UV. Still could be a shade. There's Smokey. Well, I'm not too worried about photos. I'm having fun here just, you know, trying to gather evidence. It really doesn't seem like freezing. And if it's not even, oh, one degree, come on now. But it's not going under one. I don't think it's gone under one this whole time. So I think this is actually not going to be down to freezing. But it's as cold as this room could be. Could it be a Hantu? No. Honestly, this is such a great change from like the nightmare and the no evidence. I'm having so much fun just slowly taking my time looking for each evidence, so. All right, I got lucky with the salt and found out exactly where the ghost was, unless it was just walking through when I did that. But I'm gonna keep the no UV. And even though we're in the one degree range, I think it's not going to be freezing. So maybe I'm gonna go ahead and rule that out. And see, it's not a wraith though, cause it stepped on the salt. Hmm. Dio Thay doesn't seem like a Thay and a Raiju. I do not like the sound of. I don't. Yeah, let's go get some more stuff in here. Yeah, this really is a fun change. Even on a big map like this, just going slow and looking for the evidence is so fun. So, you know, that's why the different different difficulties can be so. Like, Professional and Nightmare are like two completely separate things, and even like, I know a lot of people, most people just play Amateur and Intermediate, they don't even play Professional. And I think that's mainly because like the Breaker, uh, starts on, and people just can't deal with the Breaker being off by default. <laughs> that damn book. I'm never ready for that. So I want to look for dots. I need a ghost photo, but this ghost is not showing up, so let's just go get more evidence in here. I'm not worried about my smudge, and I think my sanity is A-OK. -okay. Oh my god, though, you turned off the light in there. At least you haven't turned off the breaker yet. But I know you're not a djinn, and trust me, you can't even be that ghost, so... But this is a big room on a big map. So the only way we're gonna get... Oh god, I thought that was a shadow standing in the doorway. Do you realize how terrifying this game would be if that could happen? You touched this door. Now, I'm gonna put the writing, because you're uh, in this area. I'm also gonna look back here. Or ghost orbs just because I saw it freezing in here first. Let me put this down. That's only an EMF 2. I know I don't need to look for the UV, but I'm going to on the door anyway. The force I have it. It touched the door. I gotta look for fingerprints. But we already know. So there. Let's throw this in the sink and never use it again. And speaking of things I don't want to use again, we're gonna make sure. Oh, it's not freezing. It would go under one. And we would be there by now. This ghost has not left this room. So there, another item in the sink. I kind of want to light this just for atmosphere. Now, oh, the dots. I'm going to try and set this going diagonally into the room, just like this. So maybe right there. I think that's going to have to be good enough. Especially if the ghost goes anywhere in here, we're going to be good. So then, the thing becomes about ghost orbs. And that was the ghost orb. Okay, thank you. I'm finally getting evidence. Now we're getting closer and closer to this being a Dio. I mean a Raiju. Actually, Dio's gone now. Damn it. Could be a Raiju, and I do not like the sound of that. Alright, setting that up and getting the lights back on. 
So all we can do now, if it's a Raichu, it would be Dots. Still gotta look for Spirit Box writing in the EMF 5. So let's get this. Like, yeah, I mean, that covers the whole room. I thought I heard, like, my lantern? I think it might be over in here. I kind of want to just set up everything in this room and hope the ghost hangs out here more. Because if the ghost goes in here, God, this is such a huge room. You gotta just wait for the ghost to go in one room or the other. And, I mean, ugh. I could, the smarter thing would be to set up everything in here. So, like, there would be two dots and books and everything. But if I get the other book and put it on this side, this whole area is covered. And it might write in the book while I'm gone. So I need to get the other dots, but I also want the spirit box up here. And then, of course, the EMF-5. I might have to look on the board for EMF-5. So with this game, this has been, this has been the, the evidence has been the focus, mainly. So I gotta prevent and then photo. I don't think I'm gonna worry about photo, but maybe preventing at the very end would be fun. And also, getting hunted here would be fun, too. But, God, getting away from the ghost. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, like, how would I even get away from the ghost? See, that shadow just really looks like a person. Okay. Maybe I will set up the dots more in the middle here. And just see what it looks like. God, it looks horrifying out there. It looks like the apocalypse. Oh, God, that kind of went into the middle of the room quickly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I want to set this up. I'm going to set it by this door. Because it's more likely to just be roaming through here. I'm going to try and set it all the way back in the corner. And then I'm going to, oh, immediately pause it. Ah. That's still not exactly what I want. And now it's not making noise. Here, I'll leave it at like, at that. Cause now if it walks through here, it'll, oh yeah, no, that's perfect. So if it walks through that doorway, it'll go through that. So that's really where I should have that. And I really don't know. I should put another one up in that room. Put this book more in the center in case the ghost comes through here, but there's nothing really for it to interact with. All right, so like I said, just figuring out, figure, figuring out this ghost. See, I need to slow down again is the main thing. Uh, so, I do want to get hunted. <sighs> no EMF 5. Alright, let me just go, maybe get Spirit Box. Because it's the last thing I can get in here without doubling anything up. Okay, you know, for a one run game, this one's going to be a longer video. I really did not expect taking the ghost, or taking so long to find the ghost would just make for such a long game. I have everything. Let's get all this up there. You know, I do really appreciate you not turning the breaker off for a while. But of course you're going to do that as soon as I mention it. Now, what sucks is doing a spirit box. Now, is the Raiju going to be spirit box? No. So luckily the, the spirit box is not going to piss off the Raiju. Actually, would using a spirit box anger a Raiju? Because I guess it would. Oh, dear God. Okay, I want that smudge on me now, because this could still be a Raiju, and I don't need this game ending in death. But maybe I want to have my main light on me. I'm going to put the camera down, like, in the middle, and I'm starting to see things. I'm going to have my big light on me, though. Have the smudge, because I'm now afraid of the dark. Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? Are you far? Are you here? Are you here? Are you far? Are you close? Are you away? Are you here? Maybe having all these room lights on. God, I gotta go all the way over here. Are you here? Are you far? Okay! Mayor or Yokai. Now, you turned off a light, but you did not turn on a light. Ghost, oh. Okay, it could still be dots. <gasps> okay, it could be dots. It's a Yokai. Let's not talk near the Yokai because he'll start hunting me. Wow, okay. Playing such different maps can lead to such different experiences. I still love high school. This has been a crazy thing. So yeah, remember, if you're looking for dots, just stand in your dots, and eventually the ghost will come in. I'm looking over at my other monitor as that happened. Jesus Christ. Yeah, just stand in the dots, and eventually the ghost will come by. I kind of forget about that. So even in a huge-ass room, this is amazing, you'll still get the ghost to come by. I kind of want to stand here. <laughs> oh, it, are you here? Look at my breath. Turn that off. I don't want to piss off the yokai. But I'm going to stand here for a minute. I also kind of want to stand in the dark to lower my sanity. I'm just breathing into the dots. 
And so wow, all I had to do though was stand there and he came back and forth so many times. All right, it's a yokai. So yeah, even in a big room, just stand in your dots or even just stand there with the dots pin in a corner and eventually the ghost will come towards you. So there, like, it's a good thing I played the tutorial. And that's the thing I knew, it's just I forgot. And I kind of like realized that as I was standing in it and it happened. So, all right, we know what it is. I need to get two crucifixes in here. Now, oh, I could get a fo photo of the ghost this way. I don't like standing in the dark. Maybe I should though, just to drain my sanity. I'm gonna book it out that doorway if I need to hide and just maybe run and just hope I can run away. It'll be a normal speed. I'm gonna try and get a Dots photo since this is a Dots ghost. I don't know how long I'm gonna need to sit here. I really should go get the crucifixes, but my sanity has been good. There's not been an event. This has been a really chill ghost. Are you here? That is, that ghost event was so quiet because you were so far away. All right, thank you. I'm gonna drain my sanity. And I, uh, I'm gonna drop it. Let's leave. Hope that he doesn't hunt behind me. I'm gonna like break a line of sight maybe with this pillar. God, I'm playing slender, <laughs> hiding behind the tree. Okay, I wanna see my sanity. I get these two crucifixes in here and actually maybe get all these objectives. Holy shit, I didn't figure we'd get the photo, so maybe preventing will work. I kinda wanted, Jesus, I wanted a photo of the dots for fun, but he finally did a ghost event and one that actually showed me where he, or he showed himself. And also, he like slammed that door so far away. Big maps are so cool, man. It's just kind of hard as a solo, because it can take a long ass time to find the room, as you saw. Alright, luckily I don't have anything in my inventory, so I can come back with, with full stuff. Well, we need two crucifixes. See? Even with that, we still need a little bit more sandy to drain. So I know I could play with the tarot cards, but with how fun this game has been, I don't want to like ruin it with the cursed items. So let's take in more smudges. Oh well, I guess one more smudge. And then the two crucifixes we need. Alright, I guess this is going to be our final stand here. It's really cool how a big map can make such a longer video. Because I kind of wanted this, or not wanted, but like expected this to be a shorter video. Because the last few times I played on high school, I have ended up finding the ghost pretty quickly. But that's because he was always on the first floor. So this time we had a ghost back in the science lab on the second floor. So even though, you know, because you have the door here and you can go up the stairs here, it's not as big. So the more you play a map, the more you feel like it's not that big. But damn, this map really still is a huge map. And it can be very hard for a solo to find the ghost. And yeah, you turn off the light again. Thing is, you have not turned on a light. And if it did, I didn't pay atten enough attention to see. I don't think it did. I just remember it turning off its light a lot. Well, oh god, that is so scary. I had to leave my light here. So, the only thing I can do... I'm gonna turn that on for now. So that covers all the way to that wall. It's hard to see. <laughs> what about the wall to the right? I mean, that's pretty far. Okay, then. I'm gonna leave it here. Now, the edge of this one goes right in here. So let's place it to where it's, like, kind of overlapping, but then also not too far in the wall. I also don't want it to, get like, not be in here a lot. All right, putting it here and hoping for the best. I could start talking near the yokai. Let's get a the other smudge and also let's try and Jesus Christ turn around and I see that now there is a figure in the doorway I'm going to see if there's a way I can run out here and hide in a nearby room like maybe in here eh, it's not the best this is this place again so let's get a light on for sure damn it I knew ah, I knew we were getting close I kept all those other lights on well, here's a way to drain my sanity. Let's... Let's walk around in the in the dark. It seems to like that room. If it uses a crucifix, it uses a crucifix. I'm gonna go under the staircase, turn the breaker back on, and if I have the time to do it, I will set up some lights and I'm trying to fi try to find a escape path. But we gotta go all the way back down this way, but I did turn on way too many lights. I think I still had the lights on the second floor up over here on okay finally we're here let's see what this turns on no wrong way it's okay I want the lights in this hallway on yep not that one just to have some kind of 
light on in case I gotta go really far away. But if it sees me go into a room, I'm pretty screwed. I don't even like want to try and get this far away. But now I'm gonna turn on these lights on this side of the hallway from over here. So yeah, the lights on that half are from that light switch and then this half over here. Now I haven't heard the crucifix, but I think I'm a little too far away for that. Yeah, it has not used the crucifix, but it's not hunting either because all the lights are on. Okay, so yeah, we do have the old bathrooms here that I can use. Those are pretty trustworthy. Is there like maybe a hiding spot in here? I do have enough breakers to, or enough. Oh man, look, there is a hiding spot here, but it's like covered up. Maybe, unless, I don't know. Maybe this could have been a hiding spot. Okay, this room is not much of a hiding spot, more of just death. All right, screw this room. Maybe I'll leave this open just to see I need to get past it and use it to break line of sight before I go in there because it won't see me. Oh, I don't know, maybe it will. I'm gonna try and go into the bathroom though. I, it's gonna be so hard. Maybe if I do smudge in here, it won't immediately come out into the hallway. I do have two smudges as well. All right, ghost, you like this room. So I'm gonna bring in a crucifix. Oh, you really like this room. Okay, I'm bringing the crucifix way over here. I'm gonna bring the other one to match, since you seem to like this room more. Also, do I want to... Yes, I'm gonna switch to my big light. So I got two smudges, get my big light again. No. <gasps> oh, God, dude. Okay, now you're back in the <laughs> this room. Maybe if you do follow me, since you're a Dots ghost? That's what's kind of weird. If it is a Dots ghost, it'll kind of follow you anyway, but you only see that through the Dots. The other crucifix is right here. So I'm going to try and hang out in this room. I don't know how far this crucifix went over. Let me see how far it goes over the other way. Okay, kind of goes to like here. Alright, I'm going to have to go with this. I'm going to set up the Dots... Come on now. I'm gonna set it up in here. So that way maybe the ghost will roam. Cause I wanna like smudge in here and then run out the door. But I, I'm gonna wanna be closer to the door if I do that, huh? Okay, set it up here. I'm gonna have it shine in this way. Keep going, maybe right there and then that was too slow. All right, there's my other smudge. Don't run. I think I've definitely Spent enough time in the dark, and you're doing events. Alright, just use up one of these crucifixes. The thing is, I've been wanting to say for a while that you can do this without getting hunted. If I get this crucifix, and I complete this whole game, I think I'll try and get out of here without getting hunted, just to show you can have all objectives and the ghost right. And some photos. I, I didn't really worry about photos, especially on this big map. And photos don't get you too much money right now anyway. But if we can just get this ghost... Um, I sh I'm gonna start talking. I'm gonna hold my mic open, and I'm gonna be talking near this yokai. You just activated this, so I know you're nearby. Come on, yokai. I know you hate talking. Either just come after me. Ah, uh, just come after me, or use the crucifix. Damn it! Don't start hunting from that corner. Okay, I guess the damn yokai doesn't hear me. There's my lan oh, lantern in there. Now it's calling to me. Come on, that crucifix is right here. There's another one there. You are in range of that crucifix, please. I'm gonna try and pull this more into the room, even. Like right here. Where's that smudge? Please. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna hold down my mm -mm talk button again. Come on, where are you? Are you here? Are you finally. I'm talking to it like I'm on the spirit box. Talking to it. Talking to a yokai is supposed to piss it off. You are definitely in range of this crucifix. Please. I want to move it, but I'm not going to. If you're right here, I'm talking. I'm talking right on top of you. Please, get pissed off and come after me. I'd take a hunt. Just, I need something here. You were the worst, most boring ghost ever. Yep. Put it a little bit further over. I really want those tier three, please. Game. No, it had to lag. It's lagging. I think we're all right. Okay, guess I'm getting away. Unless you're out here. Wow, this is weird. 
I'm gonna stand by this pillar. He's this way. This is messed up. He had to roam out of the room and then hunt. It also doesn't help that we have such a big room. Well, it's not a cursed hunt. I guess I didn't have to run away too much. This is, I've never had a experience like this with a ghost. We done? Oh God, you're still going. Did you go down to the first floor? What the fuck is going on with this game, dude? How did that happen? Did it, it must have turned the breaker off right after the hunt. I turned it back on and the, no. What is happening? How did it turn the light off? The hunt was over, I turned it on, and then the, I don't know, dude. This ghost is playing psychological games with me now. See, uh. I'm trying to break line of sight. Oh, oh. I tried, I tried going into the last one. I have two smudges. He's not here yet. All right, maybe I'll try one more hunt and then I'm just gonna give up because we've been here for a while and we're still gonna make money. And just this objective is so hard on this map. But once you have like two objectives, he's still going, I thought I, he was done. Once you have like two objectives in the ghost type though, you're still gonna make money, especially on a large map. So as much as I do wanna get this last one, I'm gonna try, if he hunts one more time, I'll survive the hunt, hopefully. I'm going to open this last one and hope that I can get to it. He's still hunting. I'm going to close this. All right, I'm waiting for the hunt to be over. There. Didn't troll me. I don't know what that was. That scared me so bad, too. Okay, one last attempt. I'm going to turn on the light. Problem is, I really need these tier 3 crucifixes. You can't just, like, be nice to me. Look at this. I mean, this thing covers the whole, almost the whole room. You're an asshole, dude. Just give it up. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. This map is so big, and that's what happens when you get a big room. So, unfortunately, we've been here for a long time, and I didn't expect this video to go on so long. I really just wanted to ask the main question, so... Again, let me know what you think, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm just leaving while the ghost is hunting because this is an objective that like can just be a pain in the ass and it's really only going to be worth like 150 bucks or something. So I know it would be good to add to the total in the end, but I still think we're going to make enough money anyway to just say it's worthwhile to escape instead of trying to get hunted over and over again. And also, why? Why do I think I'm safe why do i think i'm safe how does the second floor coast get all the way down here we done please i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here <laughs> please let me out finally okay there we have spent way too much time in this damn high school we know it's a yokai and the thing is is sometimes getting that crucifix just is not worth it Especially in a big ass room like that. So we, we needed the tier three and even but still look at how big that tier two was there at the end when I was looking at it. it covered that whole room and he just went to the other room. So instead of sitting there and going crazy, we're just going to survive and actually take the money. Yeah, even with just two, two photos and two objectives, I still think this is going to be really good. No, it's a yokai. Yeah, 1600 and only 100. So 1500. So yeah, I mean, 1500 from a game where I wasn't even expecting like over a thousand. So you could definitely get more because it's a, you know, 200. So it would be 25 times three. It wasn't even, I was thinking it was $50 reward and then times three. It was only 25 times three. Also bone would have made a difference too. 47 minutes. That one was a longer game. And a bone upstairs bathroom. So no abilities and three hunts with three events. Okay, so here at the end, I will ask again, let me know what you think about me streaming and if you would watch, because I like the idea of streaming and then also continuing to do videos. 
and also just starting to build a community and really have feedback with you guys and enjoy this game together so there's a whole lot we could do here so just let me know what you're thinking so if you're still here thank you so much for watching remember to like and subscribe and i will see you all next time